Yes, Sistema Biobolsa produces a patented high quality biodigester system. So what we do is we take animal waste, which normally is producing greenhouse gases, and we convert it into methane gas, which can be used as a renewable energy source, which then displaces fossil fuels. And the byproduct of this process is the production of an organic fertilizer, which also displaces chemical fertilizers. So that allows small farmers to be more efficient, more productive, and also reduce their greenhouse gases. Okay, and how do you go about uh, the work? You said you, met, you worked in Mexico. So how do you go about implementing the projects and making the contacts and, and figuring out where you want to, where this will be feasible and where you want to implement it? So we're, we function as a social business, so we really try to treat small farmers as clients, but we actually do it as a type of program of activity. So we uh, strategize with the Mexican government, we work with both the energy ministry, the agricultural ministry, and the environmental ministry, and so we coordinate with them under climate change strategies, agricultural development strategies, so they can provide subsidies to help support our work, and then we use microfinance and groups like Kiva and other local microfinance organizations to help fill the funding gap. So generally speaking, what we'll do is we'll pro promote the technology, small farmers will be interested in purchasing, and we're able to then uh, implement and sell them systems through uh, strategized subsidy funds and by offering a uh, really low interest rate microfinancing um, facility that essentially allows them access to the technology. So what we do is we promote the technology so they're interested in buying it and then we remove the first cost barriers. And then we're able to backfill some of those costs in monitoring and long-term service and follow-up costs through um, the carbon credits that we're generating um, in, in, in these efforts. So where does this fit into this whole COP20 uh, climate change conference? Well, I think right now uh, the conference is really focused on what's next. So we've really been, we've really seen a number of different strategies through more uh, traditional uh, carbon credit schemes, and we've seen a lot of the same actors, large industrial actors, we've seen large agricultural actors, and I think the, the question now is how do we move climate change strategy forward in a way that's really inclusive. And I think that there's a lot of really good data coming out that shows that small farmers are a really key part of a sustainable future, both in terms of low carbon food production and agriculture, um, uh, taking care of the land and being really strong stewards of the land that uh, doesn't allow those uh, land changes to basically drive climate change further, and uh, this, the social justice component in which we don't want to have a future in which um, carbon or uh, climate change strategy is driving small farmers from the land and really favoring large-scale agriculture, which has been proven to be more um, greenhouse gas intensive. So we see ourselves as an innovative social business that is both uh, profitable as a, as a business, it provides a really strong ROI for our clients, so our small farmers are actually getting a return on their investment, and we're having uh, making significant reductions in greenhouse gases. So we really see this as a win-win, uh, the integration of both market mechanisms, but also allowing governments to participate in a productive and uh, efficient way with subsidies and funding.